This is the day that the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. I sincerely thank you for staying connected on Genuine Life TV. Today I will just give a clue on what we should expect before the second coming of Christ. And I'm just doing this video to encourage those who are afraid that the world is going to come to an end at this moment. There is so much panic in the hearts of believers and many other people because of what the outbreak of the coronavirus. They think the world is going to come come to an end at this moment. No, like what I said in my previous video confidently that the world is not going to come to an end at this moment. I just want to encourage you all. People are afraid. The launching of the 5G network having a connection to the mark of the beast and so many events that have been unfolding recently they think the world is going to come to an end no we had a situation in matthew 24 jesus began to explain to his disciples the events that will occur before his second coming he told them about wars that they will hear rumors of war there will be earthquake there will be famine and so many other things in various parts of the world he even talked about the 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 that false prophets will arise and they will deceive many people and if possible the elect he began to explain to them and he made it clear for them to understand that when all these things occur they should be aware that his coming is near he went further he began to explain to them he said no one knows the hour or the day not even the angels that is going to come but his father only he is the one that is aware of the thing he 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 told them that they should be ready at any moment. They should be ready. And he went further. He took us back to what happened in Genesis 7, the flood. He said, just like in the days of Noah, people were eating and drinking. People were giving to marriage and they were getting married. They were there was too much celebration. So what does that mean? It means if you if we want to expect the coming of the second coming of Christ, it should be where things have resumed back to normal. Because he talked about celebration, feasting, eating and drinking. The second coming of Christ cannot be at this moment where we are being quarantined. We are maintaining social distance. Everywhere has been shut down. People are being restricted to carry out their normal activities. People can't go out. There is so much restriction everywhere. The second coming of Christ cannot be at this moment. When you study your Bible in Matthew 24, verse 37, Jesus Christ explained very well for us to understand. Everything will be okay. He even went further. He was talking about if the master of the house knew when the thief was going to come, he would have stayed and watched and prevented the thief from breaking into his house. He told them that they should just be ready because the master is going to come and, and at an hour when no one will be aware. We just need to be ready. Our relationship with God needs to be intact. But my opinion, if you want to expect the second coming of Christ, it will be when everything will resume back to normal. It will not be at this moment where everybody is aware, there's panic, people can't do what they used to do, they can't go on with their normal activities. No, the second coming of Christ cannot be at this moment. So I just want to encourage those who are afraid that the world is going to come to an end. No. Go to the word of God and look at what it says. I encourage you to read the whole of Matthew 24. Have an understanding how the world is going to come to an end. The events that we are. This period that we are is a corona season. Like what the Bible says. To everything there is a season. It's just a, for a moment. It's going to pass. It will not see our end. We are going to see its end. So just be courageous. Maintain a good relationship with God. And strive to know God more than ever before. God bless you all. Thanks for watching Genuine Life TV. And I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is your first time of watching my video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This is just to keep you connected and for you to be notified so that when next I upload a new video, you will be among the notifiers and you will be connected. God 
bless you all. Thanks for watching Genuine Life TV.